What's up everyone? My name is Alex Costa. Welcome back to my channel. I get, I get this message so many times, man. Alex, how do I build muscle? Why am I going to the gym every single day? I'm not seeing any results. I'm still skinny. What is going on? And trust me guys, I know this can be really frustrating, right? You're putting in the work, you're not seeing the results. Why would you keep going? right? You want to quit. Don't worry, because in this video, we're going to be looking at how to make sure that you are gaining muscle faster so that you don't waste all your time and money and energy at the gym and not see any results. Trust me, if you follow these tips, you're definitely going to be seeing the results come in in no time. By the way, on this channel, if you're new here, hi, we talk about men's fashion style, grooming, fitness, dating advice, and so much more. If you want to learn more about those subjects, then hit that subscribe button below and join the YouTube family of over 3 million subscribers. My first tip for you today is make sure that you're eating breakfast. You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. In my opinion, if I like, if I don't have breakfast, man, I'm just a different man th th in that morning. Like I cannot do it. And if you want to gain muscle faster, you have to start eating breakfast and eating a healthy amount as well. You know, you can't be too busy for breakfast. I know you wake up, you got emails, you got whatever it is that you have to do. I know it's a busy part of your morning, but make sure that you're waking up a little bit earlier then and eat well. I mean, you think about it, it's the first meal of the day. You haven't eaten anything for about at least eight hours when you were sleeping, right? So it's time to wake up and replenish your nutrients. Make sure that your body is getting everything it needs so that it can start, it's a machine, so that it can start running again and running well during the day. Guys, when it comes to building muscle or even losing weight, your diet is going to be extremely important. Don't be one of those guys that's in the gym for two hours every single day, but that does not eat healthy. You need to make sure that you're looking at your diet before you complain because you have to have an amazing diet in order to have an amazing body. And that's just facts. And that includes our second tip of the day, of course, is eating a lot of protein. So the main component of your muscle is actually protein. That's why you see so many bodybuilders taking protein, talking about protein shake, protein powder, protein bars, right? Because they, they're supplementing their diet, which by the way, is probably already very high in protein with even more protein. Thing is, if you're trying to grow muscle, you can't do it without protein. There is, it's just impossible. So start including protein in your diet. And you can find protein in so many different types of foods, whatever you're into. If you're vegan, you can still find protein. If you're not, of course, meat is gonna have so much protein in it, chicken. And then you take it up a notch, you know, you drink a protein shake after your workout, you drink a protein shake before you go to sleep. Trust me, you're gonna bulk up so much quicker if you're adding protein to your diet. Now, something that so many people overlook and is extremely important is your sleep. You need to sleep well in order to grow, man. I'm telling you, if you sleep, you can ask any bodybuilder. They'll tell you that they need their sleep. You know how models need their beauty sleep? Bodybuilders need their muscle building sleep, right? It's going to restore your body, rebuild their muscles, the tears that you had during the day, during your workout. That's why I'm telling you, every night you need to sleep well to build your body mass. But the biggest question here is how much sleep is enough sleep, right? Well, let me introduce you to today's video sponsor, Woo. This little device here, guys, that I wear 24 seven, sometimes on my wrist, sometimes on my biceps, so people can't see it, and then I don't wanna throw a watch on. This little device here will literally tell you everything you need to know. Right, this is a fitness tracker that tracks all of my workouts during the day, so it shows me exactly how many calories I burned, my heart rate during the workout, my respiration rate, everything I need to know during the day, my strain, right? But then at night, this thing is such a beauty, man, because at night, it tells me exactly how many hours of sleep I need based on the strain that I had that day. So if I have a very busy, very crazy day, if I work out a ton, my whoop is going to tell me, hey, Alex, you need to be in bed by 9.30, you need to wake up at seven, you need exactly this many hours and minutes of sleep, because by then, your body will be then fully restored. Right, so it tells you exactly what you need to know. And I love this thing, man. Every day I wake up, I look at it, and I'm like, all right, I slept for seven hours, 34 minutes. I had two hours of deep sleep, one hour of you know light sleep, 30 minutes of REM sleep, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything is listed right here on my Whoop app, and it tells me exactly how many times I woke up at night. For example, let's look at this random day here, right? Friday, April 30th. I did a boxing workout. I burned about 516 calories during that workout. Uh, I slept for seven hours and 39 minutes that night, about eight hours and three minutes in bed. I was awake for, you know, 24 minutes. I had light sleep for four hours, REM sleep for two hours, deep sleep for an hour and a half. I woke up nine times at these exact 
times right here. I mean, this thing, it's like, it's its beautiful, man. It tells you everything you need to know. And one of the coolest parts of Whoop is that I have my own team and you guys can join my team, of course. And there's about 300 people there right now and we can actually support each other, motivate each other because you can see exactly how many calories I burned, what my stream was, everything if you join my team. You literally see what I'm up to every day. So you're gonna know exactly why you're not gaining muscle, right? Is it because I'm waking up too many times? Is it because I don't have enough deep sleep? Whoop will tell you that so that you can then adjust. And the best part guys, the Whoop itself, this device is free. If you use the link below, you get it for free. You only pay for the monthly subscription and I'll also give you a discount on that. Trust me, I've been wearing this for a long time. I think my streak is like 200 and almost 250 days, almost without taking this off. That's a long time. I, I stand by this and you guys will love it. So check out the first link below and join my Whoop team. I'll see you guys there. Something that a lot of beginners do wrong at the gym, especially if they're trying to gain muscle, right? They walk in and then just do a bunch of reps. Rep, rep, rep. They keep going, keep going, keep going. You should actually do less reps with heavier weights. And I know the, you guys that already work out, you're like, yeah, I know, Alex, I know. But trust me, guys, there are so many beginners who don't know this stuff. So you have to make sure that we're, we're helping them out. So if they have any questions, if you beginners have any questions, throw them in the comment section. Let's be a good community here. Let's help each other out. But instead of repping, you know, 30, 20, bring it down to 10, bring it down to eight, and increase the weight so that you're really putting that strain into your muscle. So they're really just tearing those muscle fibers so that it can then grow. It's going to restore itself at night and then you're gonna have bigger muscles. Trust me. The next time you go to the gym, don't try to do a bunch of reps. Hit the heavier weights, lower reps, and watch your muscles grow faster. But remember guys, don't overdo it. Remember to stay within your limits and have somebody around you, especially if you're you know, bench pressing really heavy weights. If you're going up, like really going up to your limit, make sure that you have somebody helping you out. Otherwise you might injure yourself. And that's not what we want because if you injure yourself, you're gone from the gym for two, three weeks, who knows? Make sure that you're not doing that. Let me ask you this. What if I said that the next tip here is that in fact, you need fat to build muscle. That sounds crazy, right? That sounds insane. Like, I mean, you're, you're trying to burn fat and build muscle. You can actually use fat to build muscle. Well, here's what I'm gonna say. This is what you can actually do. Dietary fats will play an essential role in hormone production, which in turn is responsible for muscle growth and strength increase. And healthy fats will also provide energy for your body. So definitely make sure that you're adding those to your diet. Just because it's fat, it doesn't mean that it's not a healthy fat. So make sure that you understand the difference. And you can get healthy fats from eating seeds, nuts, oils. Make sure that you're doing your research and understand the difference between the bad fats and the healthy fats. Now let's talk about carbs. The best time to have carbs is right after working out. After working out, your body needs to replace the, the energy, right? That's why you need a ton of carbs immediately after working out if you're trying to really gain mass. If you don't take your carbs after working out, your body will feel weak. So you need to make sure that, you know how people have their protein shakes, right? It's a post-workout shake, right? Having carbs right after will definitely feed your body, feed your muscles, provide it with the energy that it needs. The energy that it needs to repair the muscles that you've torn having that amazing workout that you did. So stock up on bananas, quinoa, Oats, those are all going to really help you out. I love sweet potatoes, for example, and it has a ton of healthy carbs. By now you're probably asking, Alex, how about supplements, man? You haven't talked about that. Is that gonna help me build muscle? And my answer to that is yes, but do you need supplements to build muscle? No, you don't. Do you want it to grow faster? then yes, make sure that you're adding supplements to your diet. Here's the thing, you should be getting most of the nutrients that your body needs from your actual diet, from the things that you're eating every day. Now, your body needs a whole lot of nutrients to grow and most of the time, you're not gonna get everything from, the, from your diet, from the food that you eat. And that's where supplements come in. That's why they're calling supplements. You're supplementing your diet. You're not replacing it. You can't just have protein shakes or protein bars all day and expect to get massive. That's not how it works, it is a supplement. Now, when you combine the supplements with the diet, with the workouts, my man, you are going to be looking good, man. You're gonna be looking fire this summer. I cannot wait to see you guys' results. Summer is coming, things are opening up again, and so I'm excited to see what you look like. Just remember, supplements, it's not magic. 
It's no magic pill. So make sure that you're working out daily, make sure that you're sleeping properly, get the Whoop Fitness Tracker. It's listed in the description below. Join my team so that we can motivate each other and I will see you guys getting bigger and stronger and leaner this summer. Just a reminder guys, we sh man, we're, we're like at 1 million followers on TikTok right now, which is insane to me. We grew so fast there, it's, it was only one year. I believe and that's awesome. I would love to see your new faces there as well. You know, it's tiktok.com slash at Alex Costa uh, and then instagram.com slash Alex Costa. Make sure to go check it out. I'll see you guys there. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button below. Join the family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.